Like any other business, sportsbooks are always looking for strategies to acquire new customers who will become long-term users of their product. One common method of enticing new sports bettors is to advertise special promotional offers where the player can place bets with altered rules if they sign up and make their first deposit. Many of these promotions seem very clear up front, but are actually much more complicated when you dive into the terms and conditions of the offer. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at sportsbook bonuses to see how they can actually be taken advantage of to shift the odds into the player's favor. There are two main types of sportsbook bonuses that we're going to be going over in this video. The first bonus that may be offered to you is what's known as a risk-free bet. A risk-free bet means that you're allowed to place a bet, and if you lose, you'll get a second chance bet for the same amount that you initially wagered. Now there's a couple of extra rules in the terms and conditions, so always be sure to read through these to make sure that you're actually allowed to implement your strategy. These promotions often have limits on which wagers you're allowed to use the offer on. For example, most sportsbooks limit you to only placing bets that have odds that are lower than negative 200, which means making bets that have implied win probabilities less than about 67%. Also, these bets are usually capped at around $1,000 per offer, which isn't a ton, but can still be used to make a decent amount of money each time. So let's take a look at how much we can actually make from these promotions. As an example, we're going to look at FanDuel's offer for a risk-free bet up to $1,000. After taking a closer look at the rules, we can see that this offer is only available to users who make their first real money wager on the site. It also doesn't look like there are any rules on which games you're allowed to place wagers on. Let's assume that we're going to use our risk-free wager on a near 50-50 bet. Taking a look at FanDuel, it looks like they offer minus 110 odds for evenly matched bets. So on average, we should profit about $910 for each $1,000 bet that we win. There are ways that we can use Odds Jam to find bets that are much more favorable to the player, and we'll go over those later in the video. For now, let's just assume the conservative scenario where the sports book has about a 9% edge. On our first bet, we have a 50% chance of winning and instantly profiting $910. The other 50% of the time, we lose the bet and have to use our risk-free bet. Now let's assume that we use our risk-free bet on a similar 50-50 bet. Of the 50% of the time that we use the risk-free bet, we're going to profit $910 half of the time, and then we're going to lose our $1,000 bet the other half of the time. When we add up these probabilities, we can see that we have a 75% chance to win $910 and a 25% chance of losing $1,000. To calculate the overall expected value of this bet, we take our probability of winning multiplied by the amount that we'd profit, and then we subtract our probability of losing multiplied by the amount that we'd lose. After doing this calculation, we can see that the overall expected value of this strategy is about $432.50. A 43% return usually takes years to obtain in any other investment method, but now it can be made using risk-free bets within a day to a couple of days. The downside to this 43% return is the increased risk you take on of losing your $1,000 25% of the time. However, the probability of a net loss using this strategy decreases as you take advantage of more risk-free bets. After searching online, I found five examples of sports books that offer risk-free bets of $1,000 or more. Assuming that these have a similar house edge to FanDuel and you use the $1,000 on near 50-50 bets, here's the distribution of what your total profit or loss would look like after five risk-free bets. Instead of the original 25% chance of losing money, you now only have a 10.35% chance of not making a profit while using this strategy. And on average, you'd make $2,162 from these five sportsbook offers. You can also place bets with different odds to change your risk and potential profit. For example, let's say that instead of taking a minus 110 bet, you place a risk-free bet on a minus 200 bet, which is the highest probability bet that some sportsbooks will let you place with this promotion. When we find a bet around this value from a sportsbook, we can see that taking the other side of the bet is about plus 170. We can then plug the two sides of this bet into OddsJam's NoVig Fair Odds Calculator to estimate the win probability of each side, and this turns out to be about 64.3% for the minus 200 side of the bet. When we go through the process of calculating the expected value of a risk-free bet with these new odds, we now see an expected profit of $309.50 and we only lose both bets in 12.7% of scenarios. When we repeat this process with a riskier bet of plus 300 odds, we now have an expected profit of $676, but we now lose both bets in 58.1% of scenarios. So we've traded a higher expected profit for a higher risk of losing all of our bets. Here's a table of different bets we could place, along with their expected probabilities of winning. We can also see the expected profit of using a risk-free bet on these wagers, as well as the probability of losing both bets and losing money. 
We can see that as the bets get less probable, they have higher expected profits, but they also come with a higher probability of losing both of your bets. The ideal odds for a risk-free bet depends on a person's risk tolerance, as well as the number of sports books that they're getting risk-free bets from. Now let's take a look at the second type of sign-up promotion that you might come across. These are deposit matching bonuses, where a sports book offers to match a certain percentage of your first deposit up to a given amount. Now you can't just deposit money, earn your bonus, and then withdraw the extra cash. There are extra rules that you must follow in order to actually claim this bonus. So in this section, we'll be seeing how we can still follow these rules to earn the bonus and remain profitable. Let's use this DraftKings offer as our example. They're currently offering a deposit bonus of $1,000. But when we look at the requirements, we can see that they match 20% of the deposit amount. So you'd actually have to deposit $5,000 to be eligible to earn the full $1,000. Then on top of that, there's a playthrough requirement. This means that a user must place a certain dollar value of bets in order to claim their entire $1,000 bonus. This promotion in particular gives the user $1 of their deposit bonus for every $25 that they bet. So to claim the full $1,000 bonus, you'd have to place $25,000 worth of bets. Also, the odds have to be minus 300 or longer, so you can't just place it all on high probability bets. Let's figure out if there's a way to play through this $25,000 while losing as little as possible to the sportsbook. Let's first assume that we'll place all of our wagers on minus 110 bets, and these should win about 50% of the time, just like we saw in the risk-free bet example. Each $1,000 bet that we place means that on average, we'll lose about $45, or 4.5% of our wager. This means that if we bet $25,000, we would expect to lose $1,125. And this is more than the $1,000 that we're attempting to gain. So we'd still end up losing $125 on average after all this work. So we're gonna have to place more strategic bets than this. Fortunately, OddsJam has a couple of different resources that will allow us to churn through our bets that are required to claim our deposit bonus while losing the least amount possible. Let's first start with the arbitrage bets page. The bets listed here show all the wagers where we can take both sides of a bet and still come out with a profit. And we haven't even factored in the deposit bonus yet. For example, let's look at the Rockets vs. Magic game on December 3rd. DraftKings is offering plus 115 odds when betting that Gary Harris will make over 1.5 three-pointers. At the same time, FanDuel is offering minus 113 odds on the under 1.5 three-pointers. This means that if we bet the right amount on each side of this bet, we can guarantee our overall profit. Using the arbitrage calculator on OddsJam, we can see that if we place $500 on the over bet on DraftKings, and we place $570 on the under bet on FanDuel, we're guaranteed a profit of $4.69. And not only are we guaranteed this money, we've also churned through $500 of DraftKings bets, which earns us $20 of our deposit bonus, for a total profit of $24.69, or 2.3% of our total bet. Now we can just keep finding these arbitrage bets to churn through the $25,000 and receive the full $1,000 deposit bonus. Let's assume that we can make around 1% from these arbitrage bets which seems reasonable after looking at the current list on OddsJam. Once you add in the extra 4% from the deposit bonus, this adds up to about 5% guaranteed profit from this strategy. After playing through the $25,000 of bets needed to claim the entire $1,000 bonus, you should have actually profited around $1,250 risk-free. Now as you just saw, the arbitrage bets themselves don't provide too large of a profit. Let's see how we can increase this percentage by taking on a bit more risk. If we now look at the positive expected value bets page on OddsJam, we can see a list of games where the probability of winning a bet is larger than the implied odds of a sportsbook. For example, let's look at the Hawks vs 76ers game on December 3rd. The estimated fair odds for Danny Green having more than 2.5 rebounds is minus 112, according to OddsJam's perfect line. However, we can see that DraftKings has their odds set at plus 115. Using the no vig fair odds calculator, OddsJam estimates that the win percentage of this bet is about 49.2%. If DraftKings is offering us plus 115 odds on a bet that's successful 49.2% of the time, we have an expected profit of $5.78 for every $100 that we place. The only difference from the arbitrage bets is that now we're only taking one side of the bet, so there's still some risk involved if we lose. However, we can place a larger number of smaller bets to turn through this deposit bonus and with the law of large numbers, our profit should balance out as we increase the number of wagers. Let's now assume that we can place bets with an average expected value of 5%. When we add the 4% from churning through our deposit bonus, this adds up to a total of 9%. So playing through our $25,000 of bets, we should expect to profit a total of about $2,250. 
which is much better than losing money by placing bets at random. We gain about $1,000 more than the arbitrage strategy, but we're also taking on more risk since we're not taking both sides of the bet to guarantee a profit. And your profit gets larger and larger as you do this with more and more offers. If you run through this strategy on five different sports books, you would profit about $11,250 overall. Just remember that the goal of these bonuses is to attract new players that will remain long-term customers even after the bonuses run out. So if your intention is to earn a profit from these bonuses, be sure that you don't fall into the sportsbook's marketing plan, and that you're only placing bets when you know that the expected value is in your favor. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you've learned a bit more about the math behind sports betting, as well as how to use these promotions to make some profit. Also, don't forget to check out OddsJam for some free arbitrage picks, expected value bets, and helpful betting calculators. Thanks again for watching the video.